Hi guys and welcome to episode 21 of Game Chat. I'm Chris and with me today we have Kate. Hi. Henry. Hello. And Sam. Hello. <laughs> um, there's been, since the last one, there's been a, a load of news and stuff coming out with all the random conferences happening and stuff but i think we're going to concentrate today on the playstation one because that's the that's the big one that had the most news um so we're literally just going to go through that and talk about what we thought of it what we thought of the games as they were announced and stuff and <laughs> just general thoughts uh general thoughts overall what did people think like just generally of the conference could have been better really well, so like I'm, I'm from very niche, and I was expecting to see like from the rumors, I was expecting to see a lot of things that I just didn't see. So I was kind of like, mm. that's my own problem, though. That's not that's not Sony's problem. That's my problem. I was I was also expecting a few other games. I was mm. I was I wanted God of War. I wanted really Silent Hill. I, I thought yes. we were going to get a Silent Hill reveal. That was heavily rumored to be fair. Yeah, and I thought we would see the next bit of Final Fantasy, even if it was just like a split. Like a few seconds of a teaser, I thought sure. we'd see the next bit of Final Fantasy. No, we wouldn't have got that, not yet. You'll get that in a year or two, like even the reveal. I can't wait, those, Sam. Those games are notorious. They're like... <laughs> they shouldn't have made it that good. They shouldn't have made it that good if they were going to make me wait this long. How about you, Henry? What was your thoughts overall? Uh, for most part, I enjoyed it. Um, there wasn't... There's a couple of games which particularly stood out to me. Um, yep. Like, I'm big on platformers, so for me, Ratchet and Clank, very yeah. excited to see that back. Uh, um, yeah. I was very surprised at how they opened it, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, very for, the most part, I enjoy- for the most part, I enjoyed it. But yeah, showing a PS3 game to start with was an odd choice. <laughs> yeah, this definitely. is the new Skyrim. Yeah. Yeah, legit, legit. The new like... Skyrim. It's so weird. Like uh, uh, they, they showed the Rockstar logo, and I got super excited, expecting like I don't know GTA oh. Six or something. Yeah. And then it was just like GTA, oh, GTA Five again. You mean, it's like oh. you mean GTA Five Point Zero Point One? It's, like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> they're ten two in this shit. They didn't. Oh. They should have stopped. <laughs> it annoys me. It but, annoys me so much. Just make another game. That, I mean, they they clearly are different. making another game, but. But they're not adding anything. They're just putting the same game out again. That's in one of the go. guys' houses, Sam, you can sit down on a sofa and you can play score him in uh... <laughs> the whole game. If it's the whole yeah. game, imagine yeah, that. I'm, okay. I'm cool with that. Yeah, I'm cool with that. It's like that, that trailer for for the reveal has got more dislikes than any of the previous ones. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. But the, yeah, the it's hailing it, like, it's amazing. Yeah, the hailing they are. It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, I'm not like it's a good game. And the online's like it, people. A lot of people still play it, but like that could have been just like a, a YouTube video separately, like saying, yeah. "No, it's yeah. coming to PS5." It doesn't. It need should have been a be, post. I, it should yeah. have been yeah. a post it's, on Reddit. Considering it's what the second third, or third top-selling game of all time, I'm not surprised it's happening. Yeah, mm. but no, it's... I kind of ex- I expected it to come to it, but I didn't expect yeah. it to start with it in the big event. Yeah, it was, it was an old decision. But uh, I mean, I, I overall thought the the. The whole conference was well presented, considering like mm. they're all like stuck at home and stuff. It's not as like a proper show like it has been in the past yeah. with E3s and stuff. But like it was well done. And, and Sony's well, um, well last together. Sony's last E3 was really bad, and it was yeah, a last it was last. very weird. It was, the whole it was them moving it was places for the yeah. uh, thing it for the last one. Was thing. That was really weird. Uh, but I felt this one was well presented and well put together. Mm. Um, the games are like uh, like a lot. There was very few things that didn't really... I wasn't, like, interested in, like, at all. Like, there's a few things like that. But, like, mostly I was interested in it in some in each game a little bit. Like, um, giving, them a, giving them a go, like. But, uh, sure. yeah, we'll go through the games now, like, what, what as, they were, as they were announced and give our thoughts. So we've done the GTA bit. <laughs> That's what it was. Weird way to start, but there you go. I'm so disappointed yeah. in them they did that. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> Because it got, it was weird. Everyone like everyone, everyone got hyped, and then all of a sudden, I can hear the ice cream man. It's it? it's my it's outside my house. Do you want me to get you some lads? <laughs> <laughs> Ninety nines all round. Absolute hero. <laughs> so after the GTA reveal, uh, they they showed Spider Man Miles Morales, which I was quite shocked to see. I didn't expect. Mm much from anything Spider-Man related because that's only recently 
come out like sure. a couple of years ago. Uh, glad it's coming. It's from what I'm hearing, it's an expansion. It's like yeah, uh, it's compared to like Infamous First Light and uh, Uncharted Lost Legacy. It's being mm-hmm. compared to them, so it's like a standalone game, but more of an expansion on the same sort of Spider-Man one, which have is they, interesting. Have they confirmed that Spider-Man's coming to the next gen? Because they're bringing all the games, aren't they? Well. They, they've, they have to I be. think they're pretty much. They, well, yeah. it's backwards compatible, but I'm, I'm, from the sounds of it, it's getting like next gen upgrades. I mean, but they haven't was, said how it works. That was the game they showed off for like the SSD tech when they yeah. first announced the details back yeah, like April loaded. last yeah. year. That, so yeah, we're, that game is beautiful, yeah. though. Yeah. So, I, from the sounds of it, they're making upgrades. Whether we have to pay for that or not, we still don't know. <laughs> or whether it's free, like the smart delivery Xbox things, but. It'll, It'll we'll be... get that information at some point, I imagine. They have said there will be more near the time. So yeah. I, I think it'll be in there, you know, like the, the PSN plus thing. Maybe, yeah. Uh... Yeah, you have to pay for it, but you get it via that. Well, I've already bought the game once. I don't want to have to buy the game <laughs> to get the upgrades. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Do you think it's um, going to be like like how they did like Resi 2? And then because Resi 3 is the exact same game, it didn't take that long. Like, do you think yeah, it's going to be like yeah, I think, the last yeah. one? Mm. I think that's why it, it was, it's come out relatively quickly compared yeah. to what we thought it would be. But mm. it's they've said it's not a sequel. It's set a, like either just after it's more of an expansion. So it's not like a full blown Spider Man two. Uh, mm. But I like the fact that you're playing as Miles. I, I mm. especially ever since the Spider Verse film, like I really really like Miles. Um, and I think that'll be a cool idea. I think like seeing in the uh, trailer where he goes invisible and stuff, he's got all those powers. So that's that's going to be fun. And uh, yeah, Spider Man was that. great. So, if it's more of that, but with just better graphics, like I'm all for that 100%. <laughs> so, I'm not I'm not biggest in the Spider Man lot. Is, is, is he now electrode? Why has he got electrical powers in the trailer? No, he's always had electric powers. He does? Yeah, it's, oh, it's like a. Oh, I didn't know that. Got a bit into a different spider, somehow electric powers. I don't know. <laughs> but I was. Uh, the trailer was incredibly short yeah. compared to all the others. That's what I was thinking. We didn't really see much gameplay. No. It was more cinematic. I imagine that that'll be a later uh, reveal, but like, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Mm. But it look, it look, the cinematics look good. It look beautiful. Uh, yeah. Especially, it's obviously going to be set at a different time because there's snow around. So, but uh, yeah, no, it looks fun. After that, we got Gran Turismo 7. Now, I'm not a racing game mm. kind of guy, um, but uh, I, I, I do like racing games show graphics well in yeah. like, next gen games yeah. like, when they show consoles so I think it looked yeah. nice uh, that's all I really it, have to say there right? it looked nice yeah. Yeah. Mm. Is, is anyone here a racing game kind of guy or girl I'll play I am it. but not that I, kind of racing car I'll game get it. I will get it if Rob gets it because I, I do like yeah Rob will love that yeah, 100% <laughs> they are they are like you said earlier they show the best graphics and the best light mm. it looked yeah. amazing yeah. I thought it was real footage at one point why yeah. have you shown random cars? There was a while back. They did a, a, there was another one they had a tech demo for. It was like 8K they were showing off in uh, the Grand mm. Turismo. So right. for them, that's going to be a big graphics pusher. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Best games to show the graphics of our racing games. 100%. I'm, just here, I'm just here for the more cartoony racers, the kart racers. So for yeah. me, this is just like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like the need for speedy kind of games, like the street mm. racing and the drifting and all that kind of stuff. I'm not really into just the like, Go around on a track, kind of race. Not yeah, really. like I mean, I like sure. that's why, like on, on the Xbox side, I like Forza Horizon rather than Forza North no. like, Motorsport because that's like more open, well, kind of thing. Yeah, you know, I prefer that. So no, I pref- just, if Gran Turismo did something like that, I'd play that. But no, just a minute, Simpson hit and run. That's what we need. Simpson's hit and run is all that yeah. we need. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the cowards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, after that, we got uh, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Now that to me looked amazing like uh, the first one was well the first remake was great and uh, i absolutely loved it but this one just looked crazy like so much going on on the screen and i and i really like i think like the whole like going through the rifts and it bringing you completely different place like Mm. that shows the how the fast loading that shows off the ssds in the in the playstation definitely and i think that that's that that's the game on out of all of them that we that we saw where i thought this is showing what next gen can do. 
even though it's, it's like not, a cartoony game, but like that that whole fast loading kind of stuff is crazy. As long as it but plays it, well. But yeah. it doesn't look like it doesn't look like early uh, mid, uh, next gen. It looks like proper next gen. Like we're actually going to get because you know some games are kind of yeah. like shitty when they first come out, but then they get better and better. This looks like it is at its peak. It yeah, it looks huge. like it's been in in, in works for a while because it was quite a like a mm. decent like gameplay demo that they showed sort of like it was decent length. Like it was probably designed for PS4 first. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah that's probably. Sense. Yeah, that's the, that's the thought I get. But it looks good. I'm hyped for yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Claim. Nothing wrong with that. Just, yeah. Oh, we'll just start doing new, another movie with it. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> Please, no, yeah. The movie was terrible. <laughs> I have no memory of this movie. Chris is like, that movie we went to see it. Do you not remember it? And I'm like, I literally have no memory of it. didn't even this. get a Blu-ray release. It was just direct to DVD thing here. Yeah. Was, uh, <laughs> like a limited screening, maybe. But yeah. I didn't even know there was a movie. Yeah. <laughs> Me, the salmon, apparently. I went to see it with Chris. If you want to watch it, but don't. I wouldn't bother. <laughs> just play the game. It's way better. And it's pretty same. much yeah. Like the cut, the CGI in the game is from the movie. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> if you play the game, there's no point, basically. Mm. Literally. Um, after that, we got uh, a game from the people who made Rezo Gun. So I was expecting some sort of like bullet hell kind of thing going on, but then it turned out to be a game called Returnal, which is like mm. if I repeat the movie as a game. Yeah. Um. Where you're an astronaut and you crash and then you have to try and survive and then if you die you die again you come back mm. and you do the same thing but you obviously it's like that game that you really liked on Xbox yeah uh, yeah uh, Outer Wilds yeah yeah oh, oh okay similar kind of idea I guess yeah mm. but like it, it looked really good I, th- I think this is the one uh, made uh, made by the writer of Dead Space because he said he had a game to announce I, I assume it's this one I'm not hundred percent sure. But it would make sense because it looks very similar in terms of like the style and the characters and style. everything. Yeah. yeah. Look fun though. Like I I'm 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 hyped for that game. It'd been interesting. I'd like to see more of it before I decide about it though. Yeah, obviously. But like for Housemark who make like Resogun and stuff like that, like this is a big step up for them. Well, it, like in it, terms of like yeah. graphics. It's like a very original game, which game we're is. lacking yeah. nowadays. Yeah, yeah, we, we are lacking original ideas, and that seems. <laughs> but if it's just exactly the same as that other game on Xbox, it's not. Nah, it won't be. That was very. That was, that was like the world. <laughs> the sun it, blew up it, and killed you every now and then. It's the same like, different, Kate. Mm. Mm. She's a woman this time. <laughs> You're not an alien anymore. You're a lady. <laughs> but it looked fun, and one of those I'm definitely interested in. Uh, after that, we got Square Enix new game called uh, Project Ooh. Afia. Yes. Okay. I actually know something about this one, guys. This is okay. one of the ones I actually. I say I say I know something. Right? They're they're being very uh. It's very tight lipped at the minute. So yeah. apparently, Luminous Productions, who had something to do with Final Fantasy Fifteen, yes. they helped develop Final Fantasy. So there it's we go. That team. Mm-hmm. So they're describing it. It's a thrilling story led action packed adventure, which can be twisted, temptuous, and forbidding. Okay, Ooh. and it doesn't because I was like, I'm dyslexic, and I was like, does that say foreboding? But no, it doesn't. <laughs> it actually says forbidding because I thought that was an unusual choice of words. Could so, have been a typo. <laughs> maybe. Um, so you've got like these supernatural powers or superhuman powers where you summon like roots from the ground. Mm, yeah. Uh, yeah. And they said it's um, it, it's a PS5 exclusive. It's been designed for what for that it. next gen yeah. has to offer. Yeah, it's interesting uh, to say in that like it's been specifically di- designed for the PS5 that mm, they possibly couldn't run on the mm. Xbox X series and all PCs. Like yeah. it's, that, it's using the hardware. That's why I like to see with like exclusive games. Like it needs to take advantage of everything that console well, got. It had like oh. Tomb Raider vibes as well. PlayStation, PlayStation mm. have shoved out a load of money for their exclusives this time. Oh, 100 yeah. percent. They, they've yeah. gone all out. Like, I think uh, interesting little fact for this: the writer of this game is Gary Witter, who wrote Ro- Rogue One. The Star Wars film. Oh, okay. so, wow! I didn't know that. That's... Yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> um, so hopefully it's got a really good story then. Um, but uh, it, the, it, if anyone saw the Unreal Five demo, you know when she was in, in this trailer, she when she was jumping around like really super fast. It reminded me of that at the end of that uh, Unreal Five demo. Sure. Yeah. Mm. So like, and that sh- that was running on a PS5. So it's showing what the PS5 can do. Like, look, when it, I imagine it's loading the world around them really super fast, and I think that looks really cool. 
it, it didn't show much, but from what we really saw, it looked impressive. impressive. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it's called Project Afia, I wonder whether it's going to keep that name or whether that's. Nah, it's that, it's, it's, it sounds but then again, yeah, it sounds like <laughs> Project studio, Octopath though. Traveler kept the name Octopath Traveler. <laughs> so, True. Yeah. Yeah. So it might just be called Afia. Who knows? Mm. We'll see. PA. What? Just, uh, sorry, every time I watch that trailer of it, it just reminds me of the Swamp Benders from Avatar because they can move uh, trees. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But it, it did look like a really beautiful game. It's not really up my alley, but I would I would play it. Sure. It a chance. Uh, next we had Stray. Uh, I made notes on this one too because it's got yeah, a kitty in it. Go ahead again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, definitely a cake kind of game. <laughs> yeah. So um, it's by the game who made the guys who made Outer Worlds, which is quite weird. Is it? I, I feel Outer Worlds. Uh, Outer Worlds. A Purina Interactive. Yeah, Worlds. Okay, I don't know. That's good. I Again, know. I'm dyslexic, so it could say anything. <laughs> uh, so it's um, Blue Twelve Studios. It's giving you a cat's eye view of an incredibly detailed urban environment populated with robots instead of humans. Well, yeah, because it said all the, like all the humans are dead at the start of the trailer. Yeah, yeah. Cause it, cause and it's going to be um exploration based rather than combat based i love the fact that this little Good. cat has a Good. little backpack <laughs> i absolutely love that it's so cute how does he get into his backpack i don't know it, maybe a robot does it, it. <laughs> he's always in it no, this is on no, his I mean, how does he get the stuff how does his little hands oh. like his little paws get into his backpack his tail, his tail. he's probably got a really good tail maybe <laughs> yeah, maybe <laughs> look cute a robot though cat. we don't know mm. maybe it's true I'm glad that even though all the humans are dead, at least the cats survived. Yeah, that's the most important <laughs> thing, really. Well, robots know. Robots appreciate cats, just like everyone else. But yeah, it looks fun. Uh, we didn't really get much about it, but like, from I, or I've, anything. I've heard from somewhere else that it's, um, you're going to be solving mysteries, okay. but I don't know how true that is. It's Detective Mittens. <laughs> 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 I wish it's going to be Detective Mittens. It's just Detective Pikachu, but with a cat. Basically. With a cat and yeah. robots. <laughs> After that, uh, we had Sackboy, A Big Adventure. Glad they're bringing oh, back yeah. Sackboy and Little Big Planet. Like, it's been a while. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's clear that they've obviously moved with, like, it's clear they've moved on, like, um, media molecules, like, like dreams, but it's nice to see, like, Little Big Planet still going as such. Uh, yeah. Yeah, work. well, especially so, as he's such a mascot for PlayStation, like it's exactly, absolutely. and to have it as like have it as like a platformer sort of game as well was quite interesting. Yeah, so, yeah. like mm. like a Mario 3D World kind of thing. Right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, mm. that's good. Uh, like PlayStation needs something like that, and it's yes. at least it's not knack free. That's all, that's all the best <laughs> bit free, about baby. It. <laughs> it's coming. You better believe yeah. it. <laughs> we don't need no more knack. Yes, Chris, you love Knack One. Yeah, I did love that one, but Knack Two, no. The third one is terrible, though. The second one, sorry, it's terrible. Not I didn't play the first one, so I couldn't. It was, tell no, you. you know what? I say love. It wasn't as bad as everyone said. It wasn't amazing, but it wasn't as bad as everyone said it was going to be. Yeah. I feel like Chris is trying to downplay his love for Knack One because yeah. I remember Chris <laughs> being very into Knack One. I, you know what? I love the meme of like, the idea of Knack One. <laughs> The meme. Of the meme like, of I love the meme of that. Like, <laughs> I, lo I like the idea. No of one wants it, but they keep churning them out. I just want it to carry on just for that. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's, it's hilarious. Gonna be like, it's going to be like 2030. You can see people like Donkey still going about Knack 4, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to happen just for the long. Yeah, it's going to release one every year, like COD. Knack's going to become the new Skyrim in GTA 5. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Sapboy game, like. It's four, from the looks of it, it's four player as well. So, like, mm. hope for that. Good, I love a good uh, co op game. Looks fun. I'm hyped for it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, then we got uh, Destruction All Stars, which is car combat in like an arena. I'm quite interested in this. Really? Yeah. So, okay. I, I, I like gave you Rocket League vibes at the start, to be fair. Hmm. Yeah, but it's the fighting part that I'm interested in. Like, I'm not, I don't, I don't really. I've tried Rocket League. Like, I'm okay at it, but it's not really something I would play. But this one is definitely something I would play. Oh, I, I mean, yeah. I, I was shocked to see that it could get out of the cars mm. and just take yeah. out the cars that way. That's cool. It, but like, yeah, it looks I was, 
Fine. I was speaking about this with a few friends. It looked because there's obviously two styles of combat. Yeah. You've got car combat, and then you've got the uh, normal combat. Yeah. Well, we uh we we summarized that some characters are meant. It's just going to be like some characters are meant to fight the cars. And some are meant yeah. to fight the. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. It's gonna be yeah, weird, like, like, like class system kind of thing. Like, yeah. like yeah. tanks are going to be take out cars, like kind of thing. Yeah, you're gonna have mm. abilities to like knock people out, and then like just things like that. You'll probably or, have like the style of cars. Or yeah. Typeful, where you mm. just gain it after a certain amount of kills. Oh, maybe. It gave me uh bleeding edge vibes, mm. but with cars. Yes. As well, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. The characters, the characterization of it, and all it that. It's a lot better, though. Than oh yeah, Dean Edge is very acquired taste. <laughs> um, Shit. But yeah, it looks fun. <laughs> I'll give it a go. It's not one I'm super hyped for, but it's one I'll give it a go. It's probably one of if it goes on free on PS Plus, that'd be great. Mm. Looks like a kind of style of game. Yeah, it does. Uh, after that, we got uh, Ghostwire Tokyo. Oh, I'm hyped about this too. Which. I was, was super shocked. This and uh, a game later on. Uh, PlayStation exclusive uh, time, yeah. at least. Shocking. <laughs> for, 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 consider it's from Bethesda. I feel like this, from when they announced it to what they showed this time, has gone in a very different direction than what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, same. I yeah. agree. I, agree. I thought it was going to be a third-person action. They mm. showed the whole like people disappearing, and it was like a rapture, almost. Mm. Mm. And then... Uh, obviously, this trailer was wild. Uh, they've said it's an action-adventure game where you fight paranormal enemies and rid the city of a supernatural evil. Mm. So I feel like it's going to be very... Um, very anime. Very sort of like... Well, it's... That kind of weird, over-the-top combat. You like slapping up yeah. Slender Man all over well, the place. I, I read a review saying it's it's relying heavily on uh, Japanese mythology and it's not showing you the Ooh. nice side of it. I apparently, like I saw a review someone saying well, everyone that. Look, everyone in it looked like Slender Man. Mm. Well, there, or, there is. Then there were schoolgirls in their heads that creeps me out. But, yeah, there, you know. there is creatures like that in uh, Japanese mythology. The really Oni. They'll be the, yeah. Them things yeah. will be the Oni. Yeah. yeah. It looks fun. I think it's weird how like all your powers come out your fingers, like it's like, <laughs> finger shooting. <laughs> it's really fun. But, hey, uh, mate. Yeah, literally. But like it looks, it looks fun. Very different to what we obviously thought it was going to be. Yeah, um, I thought it'd be like a like a horror. I think it still will be scary. Mm. I think it's, semi but it's more action scary rather yeah. than like yeah, suspenseful. Maybe I don't know. Mm. Looks fun. Surprised it's an exclusive. Uh, PlayStation was just throwing a load of, a load of money. It's a timed exclusive, apparently. Yeah, yeah, it would be like uh, a year, year or so, probably. But yeah, but a lot, a lot of shock. Japanese games, a lot of Japanese games tend to be uh, uh, PlayStation exclusive. True, yeah. but like, well, we'll get to Death Loop later. But the same with that, isn't it? And the, that, that's an exclusive as well. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Weird, and that both Bethesda. So Bethesda are on the PlayStation side these days. It's weird because <laughs> they're they no, that is, that is a lot weird. of the times they're like attached to Xbox with stuff. Mm. So be interesting to see whether they like, give something to xbox as well we'll see uh after that we had uh kenya is it kenya or kenna kenna bridge kenna. of spirits kenya kenna, kenna this, bridge of spirits there's a lot of info about this i actually yeah. did my research so there's actually a lot of research uh, info put out about this so it's going to be a timed ps5 exclusive mm. um Kenna, whatever you want, Kina, however we say it. She's a spirit guide and she's got to help these trapped spirits that are trapped in this village. She's got to help them move on, sort of thing. It's a story driven action adventure and it says it combines exploration with fast paced combat. Mm. And the whole, the jam of the game is you find these little, these little spirits, they're called Rot. Mm-hmm. And right. you help them, and you get them into your team, and you grow them, and you, you kind of. They're those little cute them. black things, right? I'm assuming so. Yeah. You collect them, you build them up, and you find new ways for them to interact with the environment, and that's how you move forward. Okay. Mm. That that's. that's it, 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 from what we've seen, I mean, they showed a bit more at the Future Game Show yesterday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, from what we've seen, I'm, that's one of my most hyped games from. Agreed. This show. Uh, just because it looks so, I love the style of it. Like it reminds me of Zelda, kind of 
style as well. And the, what That's was the game gorgeous. that he reminded you reminded you of, Kate? You said and, um, a little bit like Cameo. Mm, yeah, from the original. Yeah, like, I can but, see that. I love yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Another well, original. The, anyway. uh, I mean, the, the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. The yeah, team yeah. that makes this have a background in film and animation, so mm. that, you can see why it looks so beautiful. And it very reminds me of very yeah, Ghibli. Pixar, Pixar style. Oh yeah, or mm. Studio Ghibli. But yeah, the, the, looks the really good. The only worries I have stuff like that though, because it, it does look beautiful. I'm just worried about the gameplay. Like what it's going to. Well, like, to be fair, the gameplay looks, looks, amazing. looks, looks fine. amazing. But I, I just tend to find people that have that sort of background in like film and stuff. They make mm. amazingly looking games, but they just fall mm. short on gameplay. And so that's the only thing that's going to let it down. The, all collecting them spirits to interact with the environment that's very that seems very sort of limited like there's only so much that you'll be able to do yeah. well that, that's the kind of thing like how many that can be on the screen at the same time and all that like mm. what they can actually do how clever they are as ai well yeah that that will that will hopefully show how what the next next gen can do yeah so, i feel we'll like see. it's going to be a very small game I don't feel like it's going to be a long, it's made by a long small game. Team, so I, don't, I don't feel like mm. it's going to be massive, but yeah, I don't know. We don't know how long they've been working on it, so mm. who knows? I, it looks good. And I, that's one of my most hyped games. Same, I agree. Uh, yeah, from what was shown. Interesting to play. Mm. Uh, after that, we got one uh, called Jet the Far Shore. Um, this didn't really speak to me. It's, it's, no, all, all we really saw was like a little spaceship <laughs> going across different environments oh, that one. and stuff. Yeah, I didn't really I was... know what to think of it. Like, they didn't really show enough to kind of show what the it game It didn't leave much of an impression on me, I'll be honest. No, no, I, forgot, I forgot about it, to be honest. Yeah, it's just like one of them where it's like, okay, we'll see, I guess. Like, <laughs> n- never really left an impression really on me at all. And I was just like, well, what is this? <laughs> <I don't laughs> um, but yeah, might be good. You never know. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> it <be> interesting. <laughs> no, I, that, the, the one thing I like to do like about this conference, it seems to have ev- something for everybody. So mm, someone's yeah. going to love that. Mm. Maybe not us, but someone is, and it's, <laughs> it's one of them in it. Um, after that, hype for Kate, we got uh, Resi, Resident Evil Eight. Yeah, yeah, it looks super good. I'm gonna brand myself in because I've got so many conspiracy theories. I've been the Charlie Day meme since it dropped. <laughs> that, that this is for that is for another video. Yeah, we'll save that. I've just got the <laughs> I've just got the facts. I've got the facts here. <laughs> so it's gonna be set a few years after Resident Evil Seven. Mm. Follows on the story of Ethan and his wife Mia. Obviously, Chris' dad sent me to the yeah. moon. Redfield is back. Uh, <laughs> very chunky, bad boy shooting people in the face. It's going to be kept in the first person, which I'm not really a fan of, but I guess it's over now. I... Uh, they use an improved version of the RE engine. Uh, oh. It's got very Resi 4 vibes, but I think it looks a lot like Code Veronica 2. Wasn't it... I feel like there's a lot of Code Veronica. Wasn't it rumoured that it was supposed to be Revelations 3 or something like that before oh, really? in development? So... This, yeah, it, it this so... village, this stuff has been rumoured for yeah. so long. Come on, this, on, keep a lid on things. This, no. I've, I've been reading stuff very similar to this since after Seven dropped. Right, so, okay, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure about it being Revelation 3, but it's been around for a while. Uh, they said they're up in the ante on the action, but it's still going to be a survival horror. Okay. And they showed their inventory, and it's just the briefcase from Rosie 4 again. Uh, okay. Jake made a good uh, observation in when they show the inventory that it's it's it said I think the uh, currency was like la- lay or something. So he's Romanian currency. Maybe Romania. Yeah, yeah. That, he pointed that out to me. I never noticed that originally. Because but, they're uh, they're going for the whole. Obviously, like we see the werewolves. There's 100 percent going to be the, vampires in this game. Well, like, the three like ladies. Yeah, yeah, the three brides of Dracula. Dracula but. Dracula. but yeah. With all these rumours going round, there was, it was, hallucinations were a thing that kept coming up, like, this, yeah. this game's on hallucinations, the original draft of Resident Evil 4, the Hookman demo, yeah, they a lot of that was, of that. Yeah. Leon was infected, he was seeing all this stuff, it wasn't real, right. so I feel like they are trying to make you be like, oh, that's a werewolf, these are vampires, blah, 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 but it's not. It's going to end up being a bioweapon. Infected. 
Maybe. Yeah, they're going to be affected. The village, the creepy stuff with the children, I'm thinking, Origins of Umbrella, the Wesker project starting back up again. But, mm, maybe. It's, it's just going to wrap all the games together. It's going to wrap everything yeah. together. Yeah, I feel, like. I feel like it needs mm-hmm. to be more connected to the, the whole overall Resi story than Seven was. Because mm-hmm. Seven, until the end, didn't... In fact, it was like, it was a good game, but... It wasn't Resident Evil. It, it was no. like, you felt like they shoehorned the Resi title on it to sell mm-hmm. it. I was, very, I was thinking about it because Seven is my one of my favourite Resi games. Apart it's from good. Four, obviously, it's very good. But, but it was I, very... I've never been. I mean, <laughs> I mean mechanics wise, like gameplay yeah. mechanics wise, because yeah, I'm more yeah. a fan of those. Yeah, like, no, those I agree. Games. I played it in VR. Like it was amazing. Yeah, story wise, hope... it was a bit weak compared to the others. Well, it was loosely connected to the rest yeah. of it. That was the only issue. But but I'm glad they've kept it. Yeah, yeah I'm glad they're, they're keeping going with the uh, the Ethan story. Even though mm-hmm. Chris is going to be a werewolf. I don't think that's Chris. I, he <laughs> I don't werewolf. think that's Chris. Uh, he might, I reckon he will become a werewolf. I think if that is actual Chris, he's infected oh, or he's right. being controlled by like a plagger situation. Well, yeah. yeah. I reckon because they're like, oh, Chris, Chris is the bad guy now. Like, he's not. They're not going to kill their golden boy. Say, they're not going to do that. Chris is more broody than he has been in previous in- installations. And I'm just like, mm, okay. There's a, there's a difference <laughs> not... between having like a bad day and like, you know, needing a cry than and shooting, shooting some... a woman straight in the face. That's different, Chris. <laughs> that hits different okay. to me. I, I, I think they're going to turn around and say he's being evil for the sake of destroying evil. One of those mm. situations. Maybe, no. yeah. He's had enough of everyone's shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, we'll definitely do it. Uh, Kate definitely wants to do a separate video on uh, Resi 8 Conspiracy Theories. So uh, look out for that. <laughs> uh, you should just let me rot in my own head. But Chris is like, you need to make a video on it. And I'm like, but ever since the trailer dropped, I've watched the trailer like 75 times and I'm that Charlie Day meme in my room like, oh, but this could mean this. Like, you want to unleash me on the world, Chris. This is your fault. It's fine. It'll be fun. Um, <laughs> after that, we got the new game from the people who made Octodad uh, called oh. Bug. Bug snacks. I'm, I'm not okay with this game. I'm not okay with it. Me out a bit, but like, I don't know. It's very, they look really cute. But do you have to eat them? To become them. You, you eat them. Like you, they, you but, get a strawberry and her arm became a strawberry. I don't feel good about that. It looks mon- cute. Apart from that monstrous one at the last. The burger. The yeah, the yeah, burger. Yeah, just yeah. everything. I love how he came on the screen. He was just like, burger, 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 burger. It's <laughs> just like they're Pokemon. They just say the name. <laughs> it's like that crab meme. It's like the crab meme. It's like David Attenborough. Did you see this crab? Do you like this crab? Do you love him? Are you concerned about his well-being? And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's like, this crab is in mortal peril. That's his game. Like, oh, see, this strawberry. see this cute strawberry? Isn't he cute? Eat him. Eat him. <laughs> I don't want to do of- that. <laughs> It could. It looks like it could be a fun time. <laughs> Very. The song was uh, stuck in my head afterwards. Though. I don't want to um, eat them. <laughs> yeah, them a few, few of my friends were on about that song as well. It was by Cara Cara Benito. Okay. Oh. Yeah. It was. Very, it, yeah, it's very catchy. It's immediately sold one of my friends on that game just for that alone. <laughs> Fair Damn enough. Nerd. Fair enough. Damn nerd. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> After that, we had the the sports game that is in every conference. <laughs> we had uh, M- NBA 2K21. They do look amazing, though. This is one of those they where, I'm like, same with the racing game, it's one of those to show off next the gen, fit, especially with the ray, ray tracing and the reflections off the the court floor. Mm. Like that looked really cool, and the sweat and everything. Like, yeah, yeah. it's a it's a it's a graphics show off at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. But yeah. just yeah, it's like you said earlier. It's just like Gran Turismo. It just is showing what we can do. You cut out there. What did you say? Oh. <laughs> Hear me again? Yeah, yeah, I can you get you now? It's, it's, it's like it's like we said earlier. It's just Gran Turismo. It's just like look all better graphics. Yeah, yeah, just better graphics. Oh, yeah, like that. but like yeah. someone will love their sports game, and someone will be hyped for that at the end of the day. Um, True. After that, we got Capcom's new game. Uh, Pragma, look with a weird spaceman, weird the Kojima child. looking one. Yeah, I was like, it came on. I was like, this is like something to do with like Kojima or Death Stranding or whatever. And I uh, turned up the Capcom. Yeah. I have I a theory like, about what? this. <laughs> okay, I go have ahead. A theory that it's, it is in the Death Stranding universe. 
it can't be because alluded to. I think it's, it's I don't Capcom. Know. Capcom making it completely different studio. It's weird. Yeah. I don't know. I just I feel like it is though. It just that would be so like a baller similar. move though. But it's yeah, so similar. It is strange. Like it, do, it does. It, it definitely gave off those vibes. And I, the thing is, I couldn't tell you what the game was about. Just like before with Death Stranding, I couldn't tell you what that game was about. Be fair, it could just, just be making another want, game just with Capcom. Capcom instead of Sony this time. Yeah, it could. Yeah, it's true. It does, but there's, there's no studio, way. So. There's no way if that game had Kojima attached to it, Sony would have put it everywhere. Because yeah. they just want to their console. Yeah. But, but, it does, but you never know, like, <laughs> Kojima does pull this kind of shit. <laughs> Maybe. So you never know. Maybe. You? I can't. I couldn't really so, say what that game's about. It feels like if it was going to be him, they would have just said it straight up. Yeah, like, literally. Same, it gives me that look, that, that feel. Mm. I don't know. But like, Capcom's a wild, like a lawless land, though. Mm. Capcom just, just do what they want. And it's working for him at the moment, mm. <laughs> but yeah, so, yeah couldn't really say much to what that game's about, apart from I'm interested. Just Actually, didn't it get reported um, like a week or two ago that um, Kojima's next like proposed project got rejected? Yeah, he got cancelled. Um, oh. Yeah, he had a project cancelled, which is strange because like you wouldn't. Well, why would you cancel a Kojima game? Even just yeah, having his name exactly. attached to it sells mm. it, which is weird so i don't know what happened like, there i heard that it was a translation cancelled. error and it wasn't cancelled it was uh rejected either way what would you reject a kojima game like i strange. don't know he, he, he comes up with a lot of shit i know yeah i mean <laughs> the only the only thing i think with that is like maybe it was, it was another sony game and after death stranding sony are like didn't sell as well as we wanted mm. and they then picked it's just, up though they yeah. That game up so yeah. Much I mean, it, what it was. Kojima came out saying it sold. It it did all right. It sold well enough for them to make another game. But well, when it comes to PC, they'll get they'll get even more money in yeah. from it. So yeah. Uh, oh yeah. 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 Oh, yeah definitely. It's a P- yeah. Felt like a PC. It's got to end up on PS5 as well, surely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's mm. Uh mm. After Pragmata, we ended up with Horizon Forbidden West. Horizon 2, I was super hyped for this and I couldn't wait. I was like, all the way through the, the conference, I was like, when they announced Horizon 2, come on, come on, was, come on. It was going to happen. Yeah. And then, and, then, and then it finally happened. And I was so, yeah. <laughs> so I, happy. I really, enjo- I really enjoyed the first one. The gameplay wasn't brilliant for me, but mm. I really got invested in that world. The they world, created. yeah. That, yeah, like I, yeah. I platinum the game simply because I didn't want to stop playing. Like, See, that, that sure. world, I, I felt. I, it was the opposite. It, like in yeah. the uh, the gameplay was for me. I didn't like the story. Okay. Oh. I found the, no, I found the it's gameplay. Not, not going to be for everyone. That's fair. No, I, I, I really enjoyed it, and I'm super hyped they're doing a second one. Um, interesting. Like we didn't really get much game. We didn't get gameplay at all, really. But it was a uh, big. Ma- decent amount of story kind of like what's set up what's going on in terms of like yeah. animals have come back to the world properly uh there's lots of like there's something going on with the machines like a disease going around or something that's affecting mm. life and it's like she's gotta go deal with it and save the world again i guess um that yeah. that guy the bad guy from the end of the first game's back in some respect don't know what he's doing but you know well, they, hinted, they, they hinted at it at the end, where it's like where he captured. Or was it Hades? What's the program called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Hades. It was Hades. Yeah. So he will become a he will become an anti-hero, where he's like you have to work with him to save the world. Maybe. You know, yeah. Like there were yeah, rumors going world. around that it was going to be co-op, and I'm I feel like they've put that to bed that it's not co-op now. I'm glad about that because I I don't need that. I don't need Horizon to be a co-op game. I'm fine. <laughs> it doesn't fit it really. No, I feel I like really that don't. era of video games are over though, because they used to be where like they tried to shove yeah, in everything. everything. Yeah, but they've kind of stopped that nowadays. Which I can't, well, apart from seventy six, which is the worst game ever made. But uh, it, it's it's getting better. Different story there though. Mm, 100%. <laughs> um, I'm I'm super hyped for it, and surprised it's not a launch title. I kind of expected it to be. I think it probably was meant to be. But obviously, because of this year and situation, like they they probably had to push it back to twenty twenty one. Just watch Spider Man yeah. be a launch title. Yeah, well, uh, it, 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 isn't man. it? The uh, what did you Miles say? Morales. Holiday twenty twenty. They didn't say it would definitely well, be. Yeah, yeah I, I assume when they're saying holiday twenty twenty, and they say holiday twenty twenty for PS five, mm. it's got to 
They've got to have a game that's exclusive. It'll be close enough, it'll be close enough to launch. Yeah, just have, just have one. one at least. <laughs> and it's got and that even that's not like a proper full game, but it's something. You know what I mean? If, yeah. If Spider Man, if Spider Man's not a launch title, it will be close to launch. Yeah, yeah. it'll be launched definitely hundred percent launch window. But then again, launch windows these days to go on for like six months, which is wow. just stupid. <laughs> but uh, in terms of games. That that was it, right? There wasn't anything after Horizon, I don't think. Well, there was um, there was Hitman, there was oh, Demon Souls. Oh yeah, uh, sorry, remake. this like, list I'm um, looking at has completely missed out a few games. What are we missing? Oh, yeah, Demon, Demon Souls remake. We kind of ex- I kind of expected that to come. Yeah, yeah, that's been it. that's been heavily rumored really for, a rumored a for a while. The ru- well, the rumor was that Blue Point were going to do both that and Bloodborne for PS5. Uh, yeah, apparently would PC release, but. Mm. Well, well, so it, could, it could still be a thing. They they haven't announced everything apparently. So yeah, saving it for later. Definitely, they were definitely weren't going to show their entire hand at once, but yeah, enough 100%. of it. So. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I, I I tried Sekiro, which is like that type type of game. I'm not I'm not the best at it. So I, like, they're not particularly games for me. But I know sure. they, they have a big fan base, and people wanted that for a while. So like, people are going to be hyped for that yeah. game. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, that that that's that's some people's game where they they buy it just for that. Yeah, so that's yeah, yeah. Uh, I agree. I'm. Yeah, I just it's, I've never been one for Souls like games, so for me that's. Nah, no, yeah. Not bothered. To... You don't you don't you don't buy them for the graphics, do you? Those sort of games, they're, nah. they're games just for the hardness of them. Yeah, I'm definitely yeah. more interested in Hitman Three here amongst that list. Yeah, uh, Hitman Three. Oh, yeah. definitely, definitely. I can't wait for the story to continue. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Do you, uh, oh. Henry? Do you think it'll be the last one? So, say again. Do you think it'll be his last one, the last game, last Hitman game? I don't know, to be honest. They, uh, they do, they do well. So I imagine as they keep doing well, they'll. I just feel like they're building it up to like some sort of conclusion. Did, yeah, wasn't that's... there an old Hitman game that had the exact same story? And this, like, all of them turned on him. That's every Hitman game. That the one, was that the one where he faked his death? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I've never really played them, but my cousin played them, and I seem to remember one where, like, a lady on the phone set him up and all the agents turned on him. Oh, did oh. I make... Oh, uh, yeah, that was a PS2 and, one. Like, I just... Blood money? I don't know. I just feel I like... Blood money. I feel like this is the same. Isn't it just the same? But, like, on PS5. Well, he's I don't, I don't, I don't know, but I mean, they rebooted I mean, it, so yeah, it was it was, it was like a soft oh, okay. wasn't Fair it? Enough. With, um, yeah, with yeah the new some, games, so. some of the laws not canon anymore. They just don't talk about. Oh, it. okay, yeah, pretty okay. Much. I do, yeah. I do like the the new Hitman games. I'm yet to play two. I like I played all the way through the first re- reboot. Uh, really, really liked it. I love the fact that you can just do anything any way you want. It's one of those games where it's not long, but the replay value is yeah, intense. yeah. Oh, like yeah, doing definitely. the same mission, killing the person in a different way. Like, as someone with a friend who actively worked on the development of Hitman Two, I'm telling you, buy, play this game, please, for my own. <laughs> I, it's definitely, I'm definitely oh, no, looking yeah, at it. Yeah. I'm hoping because Hitman One came to Game Pass that Hitman Two would be the same. <laughs> Henry's like, support this game, support my friend, and Chris is like, when it goes free, I'll play it. <laughs> <laughs> now I've been looking that's, at. She's that's not supporting I'll it. say that's this now: she's not on. It. She's not helping with free, so that's that's gone straight back to IO. Uh, yeah, this one. yeah, because it was Sumo beforehand, wasn't it? Sumo Digital. Both. Yeah, okay. Both. Yeah, but they obviously. Yeah, do. I think I think IO did some levels, and then um, <laughs> Sumo did some others. Uh, so it was sort of split, but now it's all just them. Okay. Mm-hmm. It looks fun. More Hitman. Yeah. I mean, it, that's got definitely got hundred percent got an audience. So, oh, you enjoyed the bit I watched you play, Chris. Yeah, it was in that it's like spa yeah. in the mountains, and you were trying to kill yeah, that yeah, one guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was oh, so yeah, funny. Yeah. <laughs> um, we got an Odd World game again. That's never weird. one. I, I've one. never really been a big, big fan Another of Another one. So. I think it's a remake of like the sequel. Because like, mm-hmm. was it like um was it? Fresh and tasty or new and tasty, something like that. Was a I remake of remember. the first one. I can't okay. remember. It's, yeah, this it's... one's called Oddworld Soulstorm. Yeah, it was. Um, it's it's. Yeah, I've got it here. It's a remake of Abe's Exodus. So it's. Um, yeah, that's, that was the second game in the in the series. Uh, it got announced it's... years ago, but it sort of like dropped. Uh, yeah, yeah, dropped, dropped off the radar. radar. 
Odd, Odd World yeah. is a strange one though. It's it's, it's one yeah. of those games where it's got a mass. It's a fan base. It's like everyone's played it, but its fan base is most loyal, whatever. Like yeah. a cult, yeah. a cult hit. Yeah, like Becca, she absolutely loves this game. It's just sure. Mm. Yeah, I heard Becca went a bit wild when that came. A little bit. I couldn't hear you. <laughs> you Snakes on stream because of it. <laughs> um, we also got another look at uh, Godfall, which is the looter slasher of. Uh, that the uh, kind of like destiny apparently. It literally is just destiny. But yeah, with, with swords. Yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm just here like armor. meh. I mean, <laughs> they they showed a bit <laughs> more of it uh, at the PC gaming show and explained what it's about and stuff and how it works. It seem I'm I'm a bit more interested in it now because like it's I think it's you you're fighting. There's uh, several different realms that are like earth, fire, water. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was all uh, okay till the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> and um you basically go you're you're going and taking out mad gods who have taken over those worlds or something. And I think that's it seems more interesting from the game if you watch the gameplay from the PC sure. game, I think it, it looked it looked a lot more interesting. And if you're into games like Destiny, Warframe, uh even Division Two in that kind of style, then mm. I think Godfall might be one worth looking at. And I'm interested but Me we'll too. See. oh i need to see more 100 mm. percent. Um, i'm interested in the melee aspect of it yeah, yeah. well it's, it's it's a looter slasher so it's going to be get it's going to be a, one of those where you're trying to get the, the best swords mm. the best like and you apparently can level up each sword as well which is interesting so mm. we'll see I, I, i'm just curious what approach they take to it because there's mm. so many of those sort of games out nowadays and just yeah. Um, yeah. i need i need to see something special before i commit to it yeah, and especially yeah, because like live service games, there are time sync. You, you, like it's constant. Like yeah. there's always new stuff coming out. Like you can't commit to like loads of them because there's too many. Yeah, you mm. have to kind of commit to one or two. Yeah. Um, we had Astro's Playroom. Cute, absolutely cute. Astro bots back. Um, oh, that one. Yes. I, I, was it like another one that is exactly like the old Playroom, or is it more of a? 3D. Confirmed VR? Is it confirmed VR? I don't know. Like they, they didn't confirm anything in VR. Like I expected them to do that for Resi. They've yeah. clarified separately that PS5 will have like PSVR support. Whether they're going to be a PSVR two headset, which is they won't. Rumored, they so won't do that they will straight be. away. They'll have that well. maybe a couple of years into PS5. Then yeah, a year or two. Yeah. yeah. If the if the games do well, they'll make another one. I mean, VR's always done on well this, for them. One. Well enough, at least. And it's the one that's the VR headset that sold the most. So yeah, yeah it's like so, five yeah. million sold. Yeah. Yeah. It's the done VR well. Is insane. Yeah. Um, it was. Um... But Astro's Playroom looks fun. I I I, mm. I was thinking like before this, I was like they've got to do like something with Astro Bot because like he's now like even though it was just a VR game, people love that game, and it's like yeah. he's another one of those mascot characters they could use in even out of VR. So mm. I mean, it's just like a small thing, a free game on your PS5 there and ready to go. Well, yeah, yeah perfect. So. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, oh, a bit of launch tile. That would definitely did, be a launch tile. Oh yeah. I did, find it, I did find it quite odd that those were the guys who also made like the persistence on PSVR. Oh, okay. They went from they went, went from, from playroom. <laughs> they went from playroom to horror, and if they've gone this one, they've gone back to playroom. That is a bit strange. Yeah. Get you a man oh, that okay. can do both. Yeah. <laughs> is it fire sprite? I think they're called. Uh, but yeah. Mm. It's like sure. Why not? Branch and out. We had Deathloop from Bethesda as well. I'm interested in this. It looks cool. Uh, it's made by the people who made Dishonored, I believe. Arcane. Oh, yes. that one. Yeah, yeah that's right. So, so and, and I've, I've never really got into those games, but like I've heard the level design and everything that they do is really, really good. They made Prey as well. I like that. Yeah, um, yeah you do. But uh, <laughs> it's, um, it looks fun. Mm. I'm interested how it works though, because like, obviously you're, you play as this one guy who's everyone's trying to kill and you're trying to escape. But then there's, they did show you, you can play as another, this woman who's trying to kill him. I don't know whether like the way I saw it, maybe there's always two players in the world at a time and mm. they're one's playing as the assassin trying to kill you. And one's playing as the person trying to, trying to escape. And then there's AI everywhere as well. I think that'd be an interesting way to go. If they do yeah, that, they didn't really definitely. confirm whether that's the case, but it seemed like that. Um, but that'd be interesting to see. Um, obviously, it's death loop, so you die and you come back and you try again. Yeah. But like, it looks fun. I'm interested in it. Another exclusive 
from Bethesda for PlayStation, which weird. It's strange, but it is what it is, and it's a shame for Xbox people who were looking forward to that and Ghostwire Tokyo because obviously they were announced previously at last mm. E3, I believe, mm. and they, they've got to wait yet another year whenever these games come out. It's just like I, feel, I do feel sorry for them, but money talks when it comes to these kind of deals, I guess. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, am I missing anything else? There was Solar Ash as well, the guys who oh, made yes. um, Hyperlight Drifter. I've never played oh. that. I have heard good things. It's like, very good. It's mm. such a good game. Um, if you like things like Link to the Past uh, on, on SNES, it, that the Hyperlight Drifter is very good. But Solar Ash looks... I mean, it's got that same sort of like visual flair to it. It looks yeah. really interesting. Yeah, like she had like roller skates or something, didn't she? Like, yeah, she yeah. was jumping around and stuff. And, uh, looks I like, a, like the style of it. The style, it looks very stylized. And I like yeah. the art style. It looked really cool. Be no, I'll be interested in giving that a go. I, as someone who's... I, I, I love indie games. So for me, mm. that is going to be a day one purchase. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Mm. 100%. Mm. Is that everything? Because I'm looking at my list now. That is. Like, uh, I I'm think not... I'm missing anything. I think it's just uh, the hardware was... itself. There was one more I can think of. Uh, Goodbye Volcano High. Oh, yes. Yeah, mm. the little, like, um, cartoony one. Mm. Yeah. yeah. With the dinosaurs. It, yeah. <laughs> it looked so out of place in that yeah. presentation. Yeah, that was very uh, weird. That felt like, I felt like that could have been in, like, one of the indie presentations that's been going off, uh, on yeah. for the last few days. It did feel a bit weird, but... I guess they wanted variety, but... Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's something for everyone at the end of the day, isn't it? It's like True. someone's going to be really hyped about that. But what's it about? Dinosaurs in a school. I like. I got dating vibes, like a dating simulator oh, vibe coming from that. I don't it's, know. Descri- it's described. I've got the quote here. It's described as a cinematic narrative adventure about love, change, and the end of an era. Is it, I got. It's going to be an extinction oh. event. Are they oh, dinosaurs? Yeah. Definitely, yeah, definitely dinosaurs. Yeah, they're hundred percent dinosaurs. Yeah, friendly dinosaurs. <laughs> What oh, was that game? What was that game where it was? She had like blue hair, and then she had time stopping powers. Life oh, is uh, strange. Life is strange. Life is strange. It, it felt like that. Game. Like yeah, that, that kind of style. The magic shit. It's the slice of life stuff. Mm, okay, that sounds quite interesting, actually. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I felt like that. Like, mm. No, it looked interesting. Like, someone's going to love that. I mean, I, I'll, I'll wait to see more about it. Like maybe it'll be. That game. looks like a Switch game, though. That looks like a game on yeah, Apple. Yeah, Wait, yeah. Like it's coming to PS4 as well. So, mm. obviously, that's not graphically demanding or whatever. So, it doesn't there, need to... there, are, there, there are, are, there is a few of those, though. There's loads of dating sims on PS4. There is loads of dating sims on PS4. There's none on Xbox. Hardly mm. ever. There's a, a few Sam knows yeah. he's got a list. He owns them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a thing I've noticed, though. Like, <laughs> PlayStation, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure they came out saying none of their exclusive games would be coming out on PS4 and PS5. <laughs> But there's a few that are kind of like <laughs> that are coming out of both because that uh, Kenna, uh, one with the cute black things with the spirits, think, that's coming out on PS4 as well. Yeah, but I think they mean more like their own first, their own like games. PlayStation Studios kind of thing. But it yeah. could be the case that for well, as I said before, like we're, we're expecting a lot of games to make the jump from PS4 to PS5, like Death Stranding. Yeah, they'll probably yeah. at least for the early start have them on both. I reckon. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, not everything, of course, but It'd be intri- I can't, uh, I can't uh, imagine that um, the Miles Morales game won't be on PS4 too. Yeah, but, that's what I was about to say. Like, yeah. I would feel sorry for a bit if people who, who don't buy it straight away will be like a bit felt a bit hard done by if they like can't say what is basically an expansion to the game yeah. they already own. Yeah. Oh, it w- it, w- it will be at every launch. They always have the games you can play on both most of the yeah. time. I'm, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure about Horizon, but I think things like that definitely. Horizon yeah. Horizon yeah, Horizon will definitely be like only next gen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they did say oh. at the end they they reiterated that the they they do generational leaps. They're not. I felt that was a kind of a bit of a dig at Xbox because obviously they're allowing for at least a year that you can play all your games on on whatever console you have at the moment. Do you think uh, Microsoft is smart business? Yeah. It is. The way I see it, it is smart because yeah. you're still going to get the sales regardless. If yeah. you're limited to people who, especially with this year, maybe people won't be able to afford consoles to find yeah. out because yeah. of situations uh, with their jobs and stuff. But like with the fact that they can still buy the new Halo on their current console, mm. PlayStation still get that money. I mean, like, Xbox, sorry, get, still get that money from them. So it's, PlayStation got that. It's, I think it's the thing of like, because um, 
we don't have official sales figures for the Xbox One, not since like 2015, I think. Yeah. But even the best estimates put them at under half of what the PS4 has sold. Yeah. So yeah. they, they want to make sure they're building on their base. Yeah, definitely. They're, de- they're definitely making some good gamer moves to uh, get people yeah. outside. 100%. Yeah. And we'll see just about the future for them with their next conference. But I think at the moment, with this conference, it puts PlayStation a bit ahead of Xbox because of like, Xbox had that poor showing with the huh. third party. Uh, well, they promised conference. gameplay, yeah. Yeah, and it wasn't get really gameplay. No. Um, and some of the games they showed on there weren't, they didn't feel next gen, really. No. Whereas have the they, games in this one did. Have, 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 have Xbox got a budget version? Like, have they got two versions? Like, it's rumoured. Rumoured Xbox lock oh, hasn't been shown the code yet. name hasn't been shown yet. Hasn't I mean, they've, been got, yet. they've got the Xbox One digital edition, so they'll probably have like another one yeah. for the Series X. <laughs> yeah, the rumours are it's possibly might be a dongle that you stick in your TV that uh, is a streaming one, just so you can use X Cloud okay. Game Pass. And the rumours that it might be as low as sixty pounds. I'm like, that's crazy. If you, it's because like if you got good internet and you. Don't no. mind playing your game through streaming. That's a mental, like, it, deal. It mm. to get quid. Xbox it that way. I I reckon it's around about a hundred maybe. Are 60 quid. Yeah, but that's the thing. Yeah, they'll, 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 the controller yeah they'll sell you the dongle. <laughs> then they'll sell you the controller. Then they'll sell you Xbox Game Pass, Xbox Live. Then you have to pay that's any, any Xbox new games. Yeah. Game Pass. They're mm. gaining money month yeah. by month through subscriptions. Mm. Yeah. Best way to do it. Yeah, oh, yeah, because some, yeah, some people forget they even play it, because I, I forget I have Game Pass. Yeah, same. <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously, they, they showed the PS5 console, finally. Um, interesting design, to say the least. I love it's it. ugly. No, it's it's not ugly. Okay. It's not okay. I love it. I love the look of it. Looks like a, it looks like a duck. My thought is that people just aren't going to care after like a month. Yeah, <laughs> so, true. Yeah, true. no, it's true. I, I, I would prefer if the I, white and the black was like swapped around. I reckon they'll announce like a a, a color variant. They'll yeah. do a they'll do a so um a Spider Man one. Black one. Yeah, they did that, a Spider Man one. Mm. Like, no, black and red. Have you seen the amount of fakes that are being leaked? Yeah, everywhere. Oh yeah, just photoshops to the nines. Yeah, yeah. the memes are great though. They I love are. the memes. One hundred percent. Yeah, are, are you getting the mini there. fridge or the new Wi Fi router? Which one you getting? I love that one. All the uh, General Kenobi and General Grievous. Oh one. yeah, I've oh, seen that God. one. It is funny, and like regardless of what it looked like, the oh, memes are going to happen. Yeah, but it's it's very it's a interesting. It's very design. different to what how they've normally gone with their designs, mm. and it's a bold move and fair play to them. Like people are going to buy get, it anyway. I get SpaceX kind of feel from it. It looks like something from Mass Effect. Yeah, I was going to say Detroit Become Human. Yeah, but, yeah. No, how the future they want they're, they're sick of the future we're getting so they're gonna make the <laughs> but my problem with it is like white goes with nothing in my room currently which is annoying <laughs> but you know it's fine i'll get it anyway <laughs> and I, I like the fact that like someone noticed afterwards a really high-res picture of the controller on the back the grips are the symbols yeah like x square mm. uh triangle and circle i thought that was really, really cool. cool yeah yeah the nice design uh, touch. Yeah, and having. I, uh, Go on, Sam. I, 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 I can't. The controllers. No one likes the controller. No. I, I like. I mean, I'm fine with I it. Feel it in my hands. I need to. I want. I want yeah. to feel. I, I need to feel the weight. That's yeah. what I'm most looking forward to. Yeah, mm. I want to. I want to feel the weight because that's what sells me on most consoles. I'm not gonna lie. That's the thing. Like, how is that even gonna happen at the moment? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Before the consoles come out, obviously, like that's gonna be difficult to do. With the current world situation, but also well, yeah, because they usually have it at EGX and stuff like yeah, that. Well, yeah, whatever that's still yeah. going on, we don't know. There's um, no way EGX will happen this year. There's no know, way. If stuff in October might be happening again. Like how you know, ill, how ill do we all get as a collective from going to a normal EGX in no, a non-pandemic right, a conflict, situation? Yeah, you know. You right. wanna you wanna risk that in this yeah, current EGX. situation? Yeah, no, you're right. No. You're right. I, I don't personally. Uh, yeah. I think. I don't think it'll go ahead properly, no. but you never know. That's the thing. But um, I've already seen one of my friends had to cancel their wedding in October wow. yeah. just to play it safe. Yeah. That would have been on MCM weekend as well. Yeah. So on one hand, if that goes ahead, 
I am now clear. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a stra- it's a strange year. 100%. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Uh, with, the, with the PS5, I like I like that they've done a digital version. Me too. I was not interested in buying a PlayStation 5. I wanted the Xbox. But I know all you guys are going to stick to the PlayStation. So if the digital one is kind of like 400, 450, I will buy the digital one just as a multiplayer machine for you guys. Mm. I'm but I want the Xbox. There's definitely a few games on there that you were interested in that made mm. you a bit more interested as well, to be fair. I mean, I'm just, I'm just not going to get an Xbox because I've got a gaming PC. There's yeah. literally no point. You have an Henry. Xbox within your PC. Henry. Yes. <laughs> I was playing Henry, it a... off my Xbox controller earlier. <laughs> Henry, you're a very, uh, you're a very, uh, you're a very PC man. What, what do you forecast the like the price is going to be? I think it's going to be between three hundred and four hundred. I don't think it'll be oh, any for the higher. PlayStation. For the dig- yeah, the digital ones. Uh, well, digital guess, one. guess for both. Guess for both. Let's have it. Let's go around. I think, yeah, really, maybe both. maybe four hundred for the digital one. So you haven't got the drive, but then you also most likely going to have a much more beefier hard drive with it. Yeah. So, yeah. so I don't think the price difference would be that much. I'm Maybe guessing they... the price difference would be about because they have to make it enticing to yeah. I, I reckon about a hundred pounds, maybe. Mm. Because you think about it, with their digital one, they can make so much more money in the long run. They're because all... it's just all their game sales yeah. go yeah. to them. They don't have to give anything to retailers. To be well, fair, they'll probably throw in like a year's free PS plus with that as yeah. well. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I uh I, I think the price difference would be the same between fifty and a hundred. Yeah. I, I reckon. I don't think it'll be that huge. Yeah, it won't be well, big. more than that, rather. But yeah. See, I was thinking this. I was thinking, what if it's one of them where it's like fifty, seventy-five different, so that most people will think, well, it's not really that much. I might as well get the more expensive one. Yeah, but mm. when they get the more expensive one, in the long run, uh, PlayStation might possibly get less money because okay. yeah. with game sales. I feel because like even give some to retailers. But even now, like when's the last time you went out and bought a physical game? That's true, and that's why I'm going for the digital version. Uh, like, yeah, those people. I think that was probably Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, only when it's cheaper. Oh, yes. did, did you get a special edition? No, I just bought the disc because it was. I managed to get it for about forty-five quid as opposed to sixty oh, nice. off the store. I yeah. feel like the last physical game I bought was. Oh, what? King, no, because it was at the last the start of last year. It was like Resident Evil, Kingdom Hearts, Devil May Cry, uh, Dead or Alive Six. Sure. And I feel like, I feel like it was Kingdom Hearts the last one to come out. That would have been a year and a half. Well, it's yeah. Like it's that how long ago since I bought a physical. I think DMC Five came out after Kingdom Hearts. So. Well, then that was it then, and I, I only think... bought that because it was a special. I I I'm... only buy them when it's a special yeah. edition. I'm and probably, all of the yeah. games I got special. I'm, I'm probably an anomaly here because I will actively, where I can, build up a physical collection. I'll buy like yeah. the limited run releases. Yeah, you just like, bought so you like, you'll, you'll, you'll be getting the disc release. version, yes. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> see, see, that's I've the got one. On Switch physical. That's the yeah. one thing that's like that. I'm like, do I want to do this because I like my big special editions. Like that's yeah. the only like I had the spe- I had the super special edition of Resi 2. I had the super edition, like the one with the badges and all the rubbish for Kingdom Hearts 3. Sure. I had the still book for Devil May Cry because I've got all the games. And yeah. I'm like, but if I get one that hasn't got a disc drive and a game comes out and I want the physical edition, if they're going to put a game in the box instead of just a code, is it worth having the digital one? I don't, yeah, I don't this know. Yeah, a problem. The he, only thing I was thinking of was finding somebody who wanted the same game and selling them the disc and that are giving me the money and i'll buy it uh on the store but i'll keep the physical stuff that's the only way around it i can think well, but i play really so i don't know who i'm gonna yeah. switch with. <laughs> about it, though. you know you know when they because they're going to bring a pro version out aren't they eventually oh, yeah. yeah eventually that's going to happen do you think yeah. they're going to get when they do that they won't do a disc version do you think that would be the transition where they want? Because they clearly want to go only digital. They mm. clearly, they clearly, like you think about it. Because X, when Xbox One originally announced, they they were only digital. They had no discs, and you, the reason they went towards that is because they don't want to give a certain amount of money to retailers. Yeah. They don't want that. They want all the money themselves. Of course, they're a business. That's how. So, like, problem is when they tried smart. to not do it, it was such but a then, backlash. Yeah. yeah. So they, that's that, why that PlayStation are giving you that option. But awesome. my guess is, if they're smart, they would want people to get the digital one because in the long run they get more money. There's also mm. so there has to be a decent amount of gap in terms of like price 
to yeah. entice people to get the digital one. And it was also the thing, cool. like, years ago, do you remember, like, when they tried the PSP Go? Uh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, they, they, they established that trend for digital-only consoles, but that one yeah. bombed. So that's mm-hmm. why I don't, think they'll, I don't think they won't have that option for this. Yeah. But, uh, they can't get complaints that. if they give when people the option. Everything, yeah. yeah. Remember when uh, Xbox came out and they said it's got you've got to be on the internet, it's going to be digital only, and how the backlash got bombed, on that. Bombarded. Well, they, and they now look at it. Time at that point, yeah, they were, mm. they were way ahead of their time and they were trying way too early. Now is the time where it's going to swap. I, yeah. I think I think it will be the pro. I think that's when they'll stop doing the, the physical copy. Maybe. Or, that or I just can't see them giving it up. I, <laughs> I think the smart way to do it is always give people the option because then you can't get the backlash. But then the majority if are going that of people are going that way anyway, they will get the digital version because it's cheaper. I well actually, there's yeah. the thing though. Digital version isn't always cheaper. Like I I buy it a lot when I look at my physical copies. Like I'm usually saving no, I mean about consoles. ten I mean fifteen consoles. quid. Oh yeah, yeah. That, yeah. yeah, 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 no, yeah. But also there's also the benefit of if you don't like the game, you can then re- you can and sell it on yeah you can't and it. sharing games really... with your friends as well exactly like i literally mm. posted my copy of final fantasy 7 remake to a friend of mine yeah so he could play it and save himself 50 quid Ugh. yeah yeah the uh if, if we are going pure digital the digital copies have to become cheaper because they are sometimes ridiculous yeah, yeah and if you, even, if you get, even if you get it on a sale it's like a two quid sale barely it's barely yeah. anything it's not even 10 percent half the time that's why I think like Xbox Game Pass has so much value because you're not buying yeah. fifty pound games every time. Like you're getting, but yeah, you, you don't such get a good deal. Titles, you, you get you get the, all the exclusives, and especially now with yeah, they've got like, but... sixteen studios. If their like quality level goes up to what PlayStation's studios do, yeah, that's that's an amazing deal. Like even think... it's an amazing deal now, but it's even more so. Your faith in uh, your faith in Game Pass is is misplaced. I was thinking that Sam, like, he's always he's always hoping up Game Pass, but look at him in all his PlayStation gear. Like, Chris, whose side do you want? <laughs> Xbox don't sell clothes. Okay? Chris is a Chris is a double, <laughs> Chris is a double <laughs> agent. I like no, both. Do. I like they do you know what? the idea of subscription service is quite nice because then it means that you can keep up with the latest releases without mm. having to fork out you know an absolute ton each time. Because let's would, face it, you love your PlayStation. Did yeah, that. Mm. I can't see it happening straight away. We've got now, and that's like just just not as good. Uh, no, they, they, now up to Game Pass standards. They mm-hmm. will. No, they'll do. They'll do it eventually. But they're, they're yeah. just watching Xbox. They're trying to hold out as long yeah. as they can. Do you see yeah. how much Microsoft must make bank off of it uh, yeah. if they're yeah. like, pushing it this hard. Uh, what will happen yeah. if, if if Xbox win at the start of this next console generation? That's it'll force Sony to that'll, do that'll it. That'll force. Yeah. Like, just like Xbox were forced to make these decisions to like yeah. Game Pass and all that because yeah. they were losing. The losing side always makes the bold decisions. Yeah. That, and and that seems to end well. Yeah, exactly. well. Yeah. It seems to do well when they do that. Yeah. yeah. It'd be interesting to see who wins. They have they have pulled it back, but it's just it was just too late after yeah. the after that mm. poor start. But it this definitely makes a... it interesting going into the next gen. Yeah, this it's gonna be a, be a much one. closer race. Yeah, definitely. It was... It was clearly PlayStation when they when they were like and PlayStation Four and Xbox. PlayStation well, were really. I remember I used to own a 360, yeah. and I remember going into that like E3, going, "I'm probably going to get the next Xbox" because I was in that ecosystem. Sure. And then it's like, it's because it was so bad. Like a lot of people I knew were the same, but then all of a sudden everyone's like, "No, we're getting PS4 because it's better." And yeah. because it's cheaper and because it doesn't have all this stupid stuff, and like yeah, it, that's yeah, such a bad the, launch for Xbox. That it completely yeah, the price converted so many people. They had the price disadvantage as well because they all came with like connects or something like that. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. God! Mm. Don't remind me about the connect. I'll never get my money back. I, I am a Connect Adventures uh, veteran. Thank you. That was a great game. <laughs> I, I enjoyed that. Connect the malls. Yes. Oh. Connect the malls as well. That was cute. And the Disneyland one. The Star Wars yeah, one was the fun. Han Solo song. What, <laughs> what was not <laughs> good? What wasn't the good was I the Sonic that. game. Oh, oh no! I never, I never played that in the in uh, the Sonic you. Free Riders. It was awful. Bad. Was it was awful. awful. Uh, so bad. Worst games. It's one of my top worst games, Chris. That's how bad it was. <laughs> Utterly horrendous. The fact, oh, do you know what? The fact that I still have that just it makes me feel sick. What did you get there? <laughs> <laughs> like the fact it exists in my house, like that in my family. <laughs> <laughs> um, Where I. I... <laughs> I wasn't expecting a price. Uh, I'm disappointed we didn't get a price. Thing is, like, yeah. who's going to take the price yeah. first? It's who blinks yeah, yeah. first. Yeah. 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 Like, like from what I'm hearing, price. Xbox are waiting for PlayStation to give their price so they can go lower. PlayStation are doing the same. It's going to get to, like, 
August and no one's giving their prize. We need it's to, like, we need come to get on. them together. I need to pre-order. To yeah, <laughs> they need to get in the same room and say it at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> and little cardboards like. I just like I, w- I wonder who's going to have that moment where they've got the lower price when they like remember when PlayStation Four announced I, and they were like I it's like a hundred pounds cheaper. It's just like whoa. <laughs> At Stadium, oh, yeah. I wouldn't be Xbox because they're releasing stuff a lot more mm. and a lot quicker. They've gone they're quiet recently, open. though. Like, well, they're prepping they're for the big event next month. Yeah, yeah. PlayStation, aren't they? They're they apparently had an event in June that apparently they've ma- now moved to August. They said they were doing it on a monthly basis. So, yeah. so apparently the, the event they had in June apparently plans rumoured to be moved to August now, which I imagine right. that will be the one where they get the price. So they're trying to do that as late as possible. Yeah. Maybe, so that, yeah. PlayStation get out their price before them because it's got it's got to get to a point where someone's got to go because it's got to, people got to get pre-orders in. It's like mate, yeah. it's two months away. Tell us, please. <laughs> the leak that went on Amazon for the PlayStation price, uh, I was thinking like like oh, Gemma, like oh, it wasn't real. Oh, blah blah. Yeah, blah Amazon blah. came out and Amazon said that it was a mistake. Do you know what though? I I was thinking that PlayStation's done it on purpose to, to see how people the, react. The, yeah, to see if people yeah. would go, that's reasonable, or if people would yeah. be like, I'm not paying that, well, so they could get a feel. But then they could, if, if it was a bad reaction, they could go, oh yeah, but it, it was Amazon, like it was Amazon's fault. That wasn't us. We got to keep we got to keep in mind as well with everything that's going on in the country, mm-hmm. people. People are going to be worried about their finances. They yeah, can't. exactly. You know, not oh, everyone yeah. can spend six hundred quid on an entertainment yeah. box. So. Yeah. And even if they didn't do that on purpose, like they're looking at that. You, you guarantee they're looking mm. at that. Big, oh yeah, yeah. This is yeah. people's reactions this is, to that. This is why I'm surprised they haven't put it back to next year. Mm. Yeah. There's still time yeah. though. There's still time. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Well, they, they keep doubling down, saying it's coming out this year. So both of them, like Xbox as well. So. That would be a bad. I guess. So it'd shit. be an understandable move. Yeah. Yeah. Also. Right. Hol- also, you want to have your new console in time for Christmas. So. Yeah. yeah. The holidays. Yeah, makes sense. Mm. So, yeah. And really, if, it, if it's one of those things where, like, they can be like, well, because of the situation, there's not that many guys. It just builds up hope and everyone wants it. Everyone wants to get it. So mm. more people will be vying for one day one. So Whereas they announce it, I'm pre-ordering it, obviously. Yeah. Mm. Agreed. But it'd be interesting, like, I don't want to pre-order it, like, from where I have to get, go queue up in the shop because we might not be able to go and do that. <laughs> yeah. I remember PS4. I was I bought it on a whim mm. uh, at launch, yes. and I got it from bloody Zavi of all places. <laughs> that was I like got mine from Tesco. Place, still selling them. <laughs> I got <laughs> the I had the, yeah. the Killzone bundle. Yeah, same. Yeah. Me and Kate oh. originally ordered it from Game, and then like a week before it was coming out, they said, mm-hmm. we're not going to be able to get it you on launch. Mine wasn't like, a week. Mine was, I had a phone call literally Obviously. the night before saying that I wouldn't get mine for a few months. And I said to the guy on the phone, I was like, well, that's not really acceptable, is it? Because I was a, like, I, I literally pre-ordered the minute they announced it. Mm-hmm. Like, how can you justify this? And I was like, well, I want my money back then. And he said to me, good luck finding one anywhere else and put the phone down on me. And I literally walked into Tesco Ooh. the next day. Stood in a queue for like five hours. She and rang me. And we both went and did that. I went to Tesco for something completely unrelated. And I was like, I'll ask if they've got any conversations. And I asked the lady behind the counter. She's like, we've got some, but not many. And you'll have to wait in the queue. And I was like, okay, where's the queue? And she pointed to like two school children in school uniform. And I literally sat with these, like me, me and these like two school children. And then dad came and sat with me. And we were there for like six hours. Oh, and I got my I was in the pub at this time across the road. And then... Uh, I was like, I hurried my food and I was like, I'm coming over now because I want one as well. <laughs> I feel like I had such an easy experience compared to no. you guys. Then. No. Literally the week before, put the order in and then it got delivered to my doorstep. Oh. Uh, I, do you know what? Duty I days. Even, I didn't so even easy. Pre-order. I didn't pre-order. I just walked into game and bought it like that. Well, Good for you. Good for you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Our mate, and luckily, he pre-ordered using a gift card in game so he can oh. cancel his. Because they won't oh. give his money back, so he had to wait a good couple Smart. of weeks. He was oh, so jealous. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, we, well, with the current state of the world, it might be difficult to queue up in shops, midnight mm. launches and stuff. We'll see. But I'm going to pre-order it from Amazon when it gets announced Same. to pre-order, yeah. and then just if the situation's sorted out by then, we'll see. Because apparently yeah. Amazon aren't great with getting it to you straight away. Oh, they we'll will. See. We'll, will. we'll see at the time. It yeah. hasn't been in the past, but it's been a long while since the last console right. launched. So. But I was yeah. going to say, Chris, like before, 
we was all just like we were like quite young and we didn't really have much to do now we, we got responsibilities so if you can't get it like the date you want to it's, it's okay because you'll probably be at work anyway. well, no i'm booking the I'm bu- as soon as i announce the date i'm booking the week off work <laughs> and then amazon will delay your order till the week after you and that yeah watch Teach that watch that happen <laughs> That's when I go and get it from Tesco. <laughs> you gotta learn. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm hyped. This has got, got me more hype for next gen. Like I was hyped before, but like all the stuff we were getting wasn't really like showing anything amazing. And then this show sure. really, really good stuff and like showing what next next gen can do. And I'm proper hyped for it now. I just, I'm. I, it's weird because like normally you think about if not if E3 went ahead as normal, we'd know everything by now. Yeah. Yeah, it is strange. Like knowing like Xbox, we haven't got until July. Same with Actually, Ubisoft. I mean, you say that, but I mean, Sony did back out last year, so. Well, yeah, but I feel like before Sony would have gone before E3, I reckon. Yeah, mm. maybe, yeah. But like yeah. it's one of them where it's Price. just it's weird. It's a weird year. Mm. It's a weird year. Find out all this information across like the space of four months. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm still hyped. Oh. And, uh, overall, overall, it was a good event, though. Yeah, like, yeah. It, it answered a lot of questions. We got to see the console, which is the main thing. Yeah, yeah. that's why everyone wanted. I feel yeah. like if they had just showed the games and not showed the console, the main headline afterwards was would be, "Where's the console?" It was the weird mm. drip oh, yeah. leading up to it. It's like, yeah, we'll show you the controller. It's like, okay, that's good, but what about literally <laughs> anything else? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think he teased us. They teased us. Mm. Mm. But yeah, is there anything else we should talk about? Like. Uh, uh, Quickly with Sam, like the Mafia uh, remake was shown a trailer. Oh, yes. That looks amazing. That, and do you know what? It, it it just shows you how much detail they've added into it as well. It is a complete remake. Uh, a complete... Yeah, they probably Final Fantasy VII remake it, which oh, I'm super, yeah. super down for. <laughs> you know, said they've done it in the engine of three. Yeah, it looks really, yeah, it looks beautiful. It is, it is beautiful. It truly is. And I, just, I love the little details they've added. And it just shows you how old the other game is. Despite that age, it's still a massive leap. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Anything oh, else yeah. that has been announced outside of the PlayStation thing that anyone wants to talk about? No, not particularly. I mean, I looked at, like, the future game show. I was nothing. That, apart from, like, that um, shoot 'em up game. Um, oh, that, that, the Resident Evil one. really grabbed me there. Yeah, and yeah, then there yeah, was PC gaming show announcing... That looked really fun, and then mm. PC Gaming Show announcing like Persona Four Golden on Steam all of a sudden, but yeah. it sort of leaked beforehand, so it took the wind out of the yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Game. I like. They also announced Outlast, the new Outlast game, which is like a multiplayer. Apparently, we didn't really That's get much so details about it, but like that could be good if it's like a Dead by Daylight Outlast game. I'm, I'm into that. That is an mm. odd game to put into a multiplayer yeah. concept yeah. So, like that. Yeah. So, weird, but if it works. Did they show gameplay? Like, not really. It was like a no. CGI that could have been gameplay, but n- I don't know. <laughs> you know I, mean? I don't think that was gameplay. Yeah. Keep it I was, mysterious. I only saw mm. a bit of the PC conference, and I wasn't... I don't know. I, I, I sat there for two and a half hours watching that on live stream. <laughs> I was so fucking bored. And I, like I said yeah. before, like I went into it, I was like, I want to hear for Mafia, so I better show you something decent. They showed like a two-minute trailer, and I sat there for two and a half hours. I was like, oh. Chris hitting us all up. Like, do you want to come and stream the PC game? I told you to go to bed. I know. See? <laughs> yeah, PC no, game yeah. show was better than PC bed. gaming show. But, yeah. yeah. Oh, they also showed... Drawn uh, out. Yeah, Surgeon yeah. Simulator 2, which looked I, fun. There was, that, that looked there is... Amazing. There is one thing. There is one thing. Did the future gaming show have a guinea pig on stream? No. Also, no. the woman in Checkmate. that looked exactly oh, like oh. Daisy Ridley. Which was weird. <laughs> what, what oh, what, what Frankie? Robot? Yeah, she looks like Daisy Ridley. What about she, the robot? It's really weird. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, fair. I just remember okay. seeing her in like the shark costume before when they were like, yeah, showing off Manny to you. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 The, the high, PC gaming shows though. wild. <laughs> no, yeah. It sounds wild. The highlight of that though was the uh, was the Funhouse uh, cameo. <laughs> yeah, at the start. <laughs> Did they ever explain why they were in it? No. I don't know. Not that I remember. <laughs> yeah, you were. Not that I remember. Internet's day now. We used it all. <laughs> Dial up. <laughs> but yeah, anything else anyone wants to talk about? No. Yeah? Uh, no? I can't think of anything else. So. Fair enough. Should we end it there then? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, 
like and subscribe and all that jazz hit that sexy button yeah fucking thing (laughs) um (laughs) but yeah let us know in the comments what what your favorite game from the playstation 5 conference was uh and what what are you looking forward to next gen and maybe give us a price prediction on what you think how much they're going to be um yeah and uh we'll see you next time guys bye 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 If you like that video and want to see more like it, then click this playlist button here. If you happen to want to subscribe to us and check out all our content, then click this amazing sexy button right here. Look how enticing it is. You know you want to click it. And if you're already subscribed to us, well then you are already an awesome human being.